Hi guys, this is Ruth, and it's day two of my miscarriage, um, and it's been a hard decision, but I, I've decided that I want to go ahead and uh, keep vlogging, um, because, you know, it, it's hard, it's hard to be raw and transparent, um, and, and real, but, um, you know, miscarriage is it's hard and and it's raw and it's transparent um yeah and, it, and it's really real so i think the statistic is that like around one out of three or one out of four pregnancies known pregnancies uh end in miscarriage and and so i that's a that's a lot of moms that's a lot of dads it's a lot of family members and friends that are, are carrying this grief and uh, I think that one of the things that um, is hardest about miscarriage is that it's it's scary and it's lonely um, it's a very lonely grief because uh, you know nobody nobody uh, nobody knew that baby like like you did and and you didn't even know it, right? I mean, you knew you were pregnant and you knew there's a baby inside of you, but it's it's not a concrete thing. And so uh, you lose the baby and then, and, and it's almost like it, it didn't happen, but it did. I keep thinking about that term, lose the baby. And um, I'm like, what does that mean? I, the baby's not lost. You know, um, but uh, yeah, but they're also not here, and they're not, and they're not gonna be here. You know. So when I think about the um, the did the today and the now and how does this change my life? I think about how, uh, you know, it's kind of this inconvenience. I have to be in the hospital. I've got to figure out what to do with my kids. Um, I have to deal with this awful, you know, pain and, and um, yeah, the it's scary and stuff. But then when I think about March coming and, and not being able to hold, hold this baby, And I, and I think about my husband who was so happy. So happy to find out I was pregnant again, even though I was struggling with it. You know, it just, it's just really hard. So, yeah. Um, so I just kind of decided, you know, I want, I want to keep vlogging this. I want to keep sharing. I want, um, my friends and family that are so far away, uh, to be able to understand a little bit of what I'm going through. I want strangers that are living in foreign countries, not their own, you know, to, to know that somebody gets it. Somebody's been there. And I want to um, take away like the levels of mystery um, because I think that part of the thing that's so scary about miscarriage is just all of the unknowns. Why did it happen? What what caused it? You know, you can't know those things. But what's it, what's the miscarriage going to be like? And and how will I react to the medicine? And and. And that's going to, how will I grieve? And how will the people around me grieve? And that's going to be different for every person in every situation. But um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully those watching can get a little bit of comfort. Um, it's also the way that I process. I'm a verbal processor. So even uh, before we decided to post these, um, I asked my husband, I said, are you, are you okay with me doing this? And, and he was like, well, I, I don't know about you actually putting it on the internet. You know, we'll, we'll think about that. We'll decide about that. But um, he said, I think that you should keep vlogging. I think that 
this way you have a, a history, um, a record of, of what happened. Um, so yeah, I decided to go ahead and keep vlogging and, and now I've decided to go ahead and post these. Uh, so they'll be coming out here soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, because it is how I process and everybody processes so differently, but, um, I'm hoping that people can get comfort out of, um, our story and, um, and won't feel so alone because it's, it's really easy to feel alone and, um, it, especially in this international world where you're, you're not in your own country, um, things don't look the same or sound the same or anything the same as what maybe you expected, so... Yeah, uh, thanks for thanks for listening and um, for thinking of us and and thanks for watching. <laughs>